sub Sam, Daily Camera, Day of Drills in Broomfield Preps Firefighters for Airport Accidents, Yiling Yitten Nin Gao Yu Sayat Kimberly Turner Source, Daily Camera, Boulder, Carlo, Sept, Ling Say in the field east of Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport and not too far from a runway, firefighters doused a blaze near a small aircraft accident. Others see asked for victims in the surrounding weeds as smoke billowed in the sky, but there was no tragedy, just training. As North Metro Fire Rescue District and airport firefighters spent the day preparing for the best way to handle a worst-case situation, North Metro Fire has a station adjacent to the Broomfield Airport, but for personnel who don't normally staff that station, fires accidents and other hazards at the airport can be a new experience, said Capt. John Mees. It's something we don't do on a regular basis, so it's foreign, he said. The surge is different, because it's an outdoor surge, we're searching in grass, in high weeds. Now they have a hands-on chance to communicate with the airport control tower directly, that will increase their comfort level. North Metro offered the training to about get back firefighters Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, and also provided the same training last year. Drops of firefighters in two engines, a medic unit and the aircraft rescue and firefighting vehicle, or ARFF, ran through drills into the afternoon Friday, switching roles as incident command search and rescue or fighting the blaze that was set in barrels around a small plane. Airport Operations Supervisor Nick Condon instructed North Metro to give commands to airport staff and to keep clear communications with the tower for runway clearance, just as they would in a real emergency event. The airport is live today, and we're running operations as normal, he told the group. You will be talking live with the tower. It is a Federal Aviation Administration requirement to perform the annual exercises, Condon said. Aside from that, the training is valuable, he said, because the airport doesn't have its own fire support from midnight to low a.m. North Metro personnel appreciated the drills. I think it was very helpful, said firefighter and medic Shane Dougherty, who practiced driving the ARFF pumping a portion of the 18 gallons of water the vehicle holds. The ARFF also holds yet back some of gallons of foam, which was not used in the training. I could see what the reach was, what the pattern of water was, from a straight stream to a fog stream. The ARFF is bumpy and rough, lots of power. It's helpful because planes aren't only going to wreck on a runway. In the first drill Doughty was part of the search and rescue team that camped the field looking for victims. In a real incident, they could be anywhere. It's important to be dead while to get to those patients as fast as possible, he said. North Metro L.T. Bill Castongo I led incident command in one simulation, assigning firefighters their roles, getting a patient head count successfully landing to pretend shoppers and instructing where patients were to be transported via the simulated church center. Practice makes perfect. It allows you to think through the process and make sure your ducks are in a row and you're ready to grow. Castong do I said. Kimberly Turner. Sam Ling Sam. Say yet Ling. Yi Lok Say Gao. So say tick Lok Sing Sam Ting Ning. At Broomfield Enterprise. Dot com copyright. C. Yi Tin Ling Yasapn The Daily Camera, Boulder, Carlo. Visit The Daily Camera, Boulder, Carlo, at www.dailycamera.com Distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.